My name is Dr. Dominic Brandy, and I wanted to give you some tips on ways that you can boost your immune activity during this COVID-19 crisis. Uh, the best thing you can do is to eat as many plant foods as possible. Uh, I like to call it a plant-strong diet, at least five servings of fruits and vegetables per day, uh, ideally nine servings. But if you're somebody that just hates plant foods and you say, hey, there's no way I'm ever going to do that, I have a few supplements uh, I'm going to recommend for you. Uh, the first one is beta carotene. Uh, I get this one from uh, Amazon. It's called beta -teen. The reason I like it is it is a mixed carotenoid. So beta carotene is one of hundreds of carotenoids that are found in foods that have a orange or yellow yew, carrots, cantaloupes, uh, squash. Uh, those types of vegetables have high uh, carotenoid levels. And carotenoids have been found to have a very profound uh, effect uh, on the immune system. I take one every night, the one I just showed you. Uh, I always take it with uh, a fish oil or algae oil uh, capsule or with some nuts because beta carotene is fat soluble. It will not get absorbed uh, if you don't have a little bit of fat. Uh, the next thing I'm going to talk about is vitamin C. Uh, this is one that I actually found on Amazon and it has elderberry, vitamin C and zinc. And all three of these have an immune boosting effect. So I would recommend taking uh, one of those uh, two times a day. Uh, what I do during the day is I put a wedge of lemon and lime in all of my drinking water. So I squeeze that in there uh, to give me uh, vitamin C throughout the day. I think most of you know that most citrus fruits have vitamin C, but if you really look at the vitamin C content of all plant foods, they all have a fair amount of uh, vitamin C. Another thing that's really important is vitamin D. I get this one on Amazon. It's made by Now. Uh, 10 drops equals 1,000 uh, international units. Uh, I would recommend taking 2,000 international units per day, especially if you live up in the north. Uh, sunlight actually converts cholesterol in your skin to vitamin D. So commonly, people in the south uh, don't have vitamin D level uh, problems, but people in the north typically do. Uh, I would recommend asking your doctor to check your levels. I try to keep my vitamin D levels between 70 to 90 uh, nanograms per mil. Uh, so if you do live in the north and you do get a little sunlight, try to get out there for like 10 to 15 minutes uh, to get some of your innate uh, vitamin D. Another one that's really important is vitamin E. Uh, this is the one that I take. It's called Trienol from Douglas Labs. You really can't get this on Amazon. Uh, you'd have to go to douglaslabs.com, get an account. But I really think that's one of the best vitamin E supplements on the market. The reason I like it, it has four tocotrienols and four tocopherols. And that's the way that vitamin E occurs uh, in nature. If you want to get it naturally, probably the best way to do it is nuts and seeds. If you uh, put some nuts and seeds on the palm of your hand. Uh, that's about an ounce. That's really all you need to get the vitamin E uh, content uh, that you would need uh, to keep a healthy immune system. Last one I'm going to talk about is garlic. I actually take this morning and evening, two in the morning, two in the evening. Uh, it's by Solaray. I get it on Amazon. Uh, and garlic does a couple things. First off, you're going to stink. So people aren't going to want to be around you. You won't get the coronavirus. Uh, but secondly, uh, it does, if you go through the scientific literature, it does have very profound immune uh, boosting effects. So these are the five supplements that I recommend. Two other things that I think are extremely important is exercise, especially everybody's on lockdown right now. Uh, studies show even six minutes of exercise gives you about a 50% improvement in your immune activity. So try to get out, walk you know, around the neighborhood uh, at least a half hour a day. I think that's really extremely important. And finally, sleep. 
Uh, try to get eight hours per day. Uh, that's when a lot of your immune activity is going on at night. There's a lot of DNA uh, mutation repair, something called autophagy, uh, where the body's cleaning up a lot of toxic uh, proteins uh, and chemicals that really should not be uh, in the body. So I hope these help. Uh, you know, make sure you do all the social distancing and washing your hands and uh, hopefully we'll get through this pretty soon. So be safe and be healthy.